I love wild salmon. I always have. It's not only delicious, but full of the best quality natural omega-3 oils in an ideal ratio of six to nine parts of omega-3 to one part of omega-6. You see, because 95% of our cell membranes contain fat, without adequate omega-3, fat cells can't function properly. <sighs> the terrible news is this. Our beautiful wild salmon may already be on the way to becoming little more than an ancient memory. Let me explain. The United States Food and Drug Administration is notorious under pressure from the corporate powers that be for approving for human consumption drugs, foods, and other questionable products which should never be allowed on the market. Whether from ignorance or stupidity, one can never be quite sure which, the FDA has recently outdone themselves. They've approved for human consumption a hideous, genetically grown, artificial, giant salmon. This fish is artificially concocted, created by Aqua Bounty Technologies from a combination of Chinook salmon, from which a hormone-regulating gene has been extracted, together with a gene from the ocean pout, plus genes and growth promoters from other fish. This man-made monster has been designed to grow at twice the rate of other fish. The size of this fish is gigantic compared with natural wild salmon. It can grow to 24 inches long and weigh 6.6 pounds instead of the much smaller wild salmon, which are usually about 13 inches long and 2.8 pounds in weight. This ghastly creation is expected to appear in supermarkets in the United States and elsewhere within the next two years. I wouldn't touch it if my life depended upon it. The FDA failed to consult wildlife agencies, something they are required by federal law to do. U.S. Atlantic salmon, as well as the populations of Pacific salmon, are protected by the Endangered Species Act. That the FDA's refusal to do this before giving permission for these genetically engineered monsters to become commercialized is not only irresponsible, it's also in strict violation of the law. At the moment, a broad coalition of organizations are in the process of suing the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for approving the first ever genetically engineered animal, this terrible salmon. The FDA also chose to ignore complaints from some two million people opposing what they chose to approve. But nothing quite as potentially destructive as the genetically engineered salmon has appeared on the scene before. Once they escape into the surrounding waters in which they are raised, and this happens, by the way, all the time, even to conventional farmed fish, as salmon fisherman and representative for the Center for Biological Diversity in Alaska, Dune Lankard says, and I quote, they're manufactured to outgrow wild salmon, and if they crossbreed, it could have irreversible impacts on the natural world. This kind of dangerous tinkering, he says, could easily morph into a disaster for wild salmon that will be impossible to undo. End of quote. This ghastly, you can tell how passionate I feel about this, this ghastly new GE salmon is now destined to undertake its 5,000-mile journey to appear in the United States supermarkets in less than two years. As Dana Pearls, food and technology campaigner for Friends of the Earth says, and I quote, major retailers, including Costco, Safeway, and Kroger, won't sell it. And the polls show that the vast majority of people don't want to eat it. Yet, under this approval, it won't be labeled, she says, violating our fundamental right to know what we are feeding our families. End of quote. <sighs> From my point of view, let's hope for the sake of the health of our children, that these lawsuits are successful. You know, the world we live in is becoming frighteningly destructive to ourselves, our animal friends, and the earth itself. I believe it's vital that we all become aware of this and protect our planet as much as humanly possible. Thanks for listening. <music>